Hi, I'm John Bregar of John Bregar Photography, and this is Henry's Calling the Shot, a series that breaks down interesting or intimidating photos and videos and shows you how to easily recreate them. And today, I'm going to show you how to capture the dolly zoom, an in-camera effect popularized by the Alfred Hitchcock film Vertigo. That shot became so famous that many people refer to the dolly zoom shot as the vertigo shot. Now it's a pretty simple concept. It's achieved when a foreground element stays the same size while background elements grow or shrink, taking advantage of lens distortion. It basically messes with your sense of depth. On a movie set, they'd lay down track, have someone to push the dolly, have a camera operator controlling the zoom, and then a focus puller making sure the shots are in focus. But these days, you can wear all those hats, and you can pull off a similar shot with a pretty simple set of gear. Instead of a dolly, we need a slider, a camera with a really good autofocus, and a zoom lens. I'm using the Canon XC10 4K camcorder, a Cameron 120cm slider, and a Manfrotto tripod, all from Henry's. All the gear I'm using today can be found in the description below. You need to have a camera with a zoom lens. The key is good autofocus, preferably with object or face tracking. And that way, you can keep your focus on controlling the zoom and operating the slider. Now this shot creates a dizzying effect that throws off the viewer's perspective. And it can make almost anything seem a bit creepy. Now it's best to shoot with a higher f-stop because it will increase your depth of field and help your camera keep the object in focus as you move in on the slider or out. For the shot to work, you need something to create perspective. For example, if I shoot this orange in front of a white background, I'm not going to understand its relative size. So I need to put this object in a space that can either compress or expand in context. Today, we're going to play with a couple of props just to show you what I mean. Now you might be tempted just to zoom in, but it's not going to work. The zoom in shot just magnifies the image and it's not playing around with your perception of depth. This is a complex shot, so give yourself time to perfect it. Trial and error is all part of the fun. And that's the vertigo shot. Let me know in the comments below what other shots you'd like me to deconstruct. This is John Bregar for Henry's, and that's Calling the Shot.